Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned in to the Talking Shed. Uh, here we're going to talk about a McFarland cover crop crimper. As you know, we do a lot with cover crop seeding, but we don't do a whole lot with the termination side. And we've had a lot of guys asking us about crimpers. And this is in our booth, of course, at the Louisville Farm Show. And this is a little 15 footer. So it's really nice three point handy to get around. It's not real wide, it's not real heavy, but it's perfect for crimping cover crops on your farm. Now, a lot of guys ask, well, what's the, the you know, protocol for crimping cover crops? Well, you have to have a good little bit of growth there to actually get the crimp. If you look between these cutters, there's probably 10 to 12 inches between those cutters, and you're gonna want to be able to, to crimp that at least two or three times. So you're gonna want a plant that's a minimum of 12 inches and ideally maybe even taller to get a good crimp and a good kill because the more crimps you're gonna get on that plant, the more spots that it's crimped, the better kill that you're gonna get. So we're talking crimping stuff at least 12 inches. Of course, a lot of guys are planting uh, around that real tall stuff. Um, so we can, we can crimp uh, anything from real short up to real tall. Now, you can see on this picture, this can be a front mounted design, or of course you can put it on the rear of a tractor as well. But right there, they're going into stuff that's somewhere around two feet tall. But these crimps right here on these rollers, it's a real flat, a real sharp edge, I should say. It comes to a point, so you're gonna get a really good aggressive crimp. Uh, it's a really heavy unit, it's seven by seven, pretty simple, extremely heavy duty bearings, and if you look, They've got anti-wrap shields on here that keep the cover crop from getting into this roller and, and winding up on the bearing. As you can see, it's a shaftless roller, again, to prevent wrapping up of the cover crop. That's a big issue whenever we're talking about uh, cover crops in general. Again, nice three-point design, and we've got replaceable uh, guards on here. This, uh, this crimp mechanism is fully replaceable. You can just simply unbolt them. There's gonna be five bolts, and when the day comes that they've gotten dull, it's something that can easily be replaced. If you come down here and look, it comes in three gangs, and uh, the middle one's a little bit narrower than the outside, but really nice and, and clean uh, crimper unit, and we also have a 30-footer on our lot back there in cold water. So come join us at the farm show, or give us a call to learn more about cover crop crimpers. Thanks for tuning in.